everybody it's Sharon from Blessed to Craft Designs and I'm here today to show you uh, two new ideas um, crafting ideas that I have but let me say this I am NOT the originator of either one of these um, they are very popular on a lot of websites right now you know Amazon you can buy these from um, Etsy of course Pinterest now you can buy them you can make your own so they're very popular right now so I have um, I've tried one of these before the other one I have not so this is going to be an adventure for all of us so the two things I'm going to try is the first one I'm going to try to monogram a doormat now the ones that I've done before I'm going to try to show you some pictures down below um, so you can see I've done it twice before were made with a different type of material. It's that Kemp K E M P H uh, material that you use on the outside, and both of those really came out well. I was really surprised and excited how well they came out. Um, but those mats are a little bit pricey. I've been able to find them for about um, you can get them from Target for about ten dollars or. Um, I bought two on Amazon I believe they were about $18 for the two so those are a little bit pricey especially if it's something that you're just kind of um, trying out to see if you like it to see if it's gonna work those kind of things so I went to the Dollar Tree the other day and I found these mats okay it is just a classic rug 16 by 24 carpet this is a carpet mat so this will not go outside I have plans to put this inside the house as soon as you walk in the door I'll probably put it there because I have the other one directly on the outside okay so that's gonna be the first thing I, I'm gonna do and I'm gonna try that first because it involves painting and by the time I get through it and um, do the other one the first uh, layer of the paint should be dry and then I, maybe I'll be able to put another one down but the second one number two the second thing I'm going to do are these galvanized tubs I got ready to take this off but then I um, realized that I wanted to do a video so I put it back on and I'm gonna get a close-up so you can see this one Walmart has these and um, my Walmart apparently they just uh, stocked up on these because there were hundreds of them they come in all different shapes and sizes as you can see this is the um, scooped oval tub okay and I believe I may have paid about eight dollars for this and of course you know the smaller you go the lower the price will be if you get bigger um, and I've seen a lot of cute designs uh, online where people have done these and I decided I wanted to try it okay so the first thing I'm going to do I did bring all my stuff with me this right here is all for my tub so I'm going to sit this aside and I'm going to bring out now you know I have a Cricut machine um, and I'm probably going to fast forward through this um, quite a bit because I think it would be kind of boring for you to sit here and listen to me talk the entire time while I try to weed this out. So I did print this design and you can't see it yet but it says bless um, those who enter our home. Now the one thing that you have to remember to do which the very first time I did this I messed it up is that you have to take out the actual letters you know normally you want to take out um, the outside but on this you actually want to remove um, if I can get it up let's get it started you actually want to remove the letters okay I might have to put you on hold while I get this okay everybody I'm back and I'm back to show you I've already made one boo-boo you know I told you I'm uh, this is uh, I've only done this a couple of times but I'm so mad at myself right now for doing this but I like to share the bad with the good um, 
So this is what I was trying to weed to do this mat with. And <laughs> I couldn't figure out why can I not get this to weed out. I want to weed the letters instead of um, the outside space. Well, I'm sitting here just struggling with it, trying to figure it out. And I turn it over on the back and it finally dawns on me. Sharon, this is not <laughs> vinyl. This is not regular vinyl. <clears throat> this is heat transfer vinyl. So that's why I'm kind of mad at myself because I sat here and I printed this whole design out on a good sheet of heat transfer paper that I cannot use anymore. I actually have to cut off. Um, I will only have about this much of this paper left and this is kind of expensive paper I mean it um, transfer vinyl is anywhere between you know four to probably seven or eight dollars a sheet depending on where you get it from so I'm not happy about that so let this be a lesson and I already knew this I just don't even know why my brain was not computing it but the, this is how you tell the difference between heat transfer and regular Oracle 651 is that it has it on there see um so that is literally me just not paying attention at all so take that lesson from me and please don't make the same mistake i did okay so i'm gonna cut off what i am not using okay and get that out of the way now that i have it on the right type of vinyl it will be easier for me to weed this out so i'm probably going to fast forward this a little bit so you don't have to sit here um and watch me weed everything out but what i was attempting to show you is that i am just i'm going to weed out the letters because i actually want the white i mean the outside part to still be there okay so i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna weed this part out and then i will be back in just a few minutes to show you what i have okay everybody i'm back so here is the design bless those who enter this home um, and I may have to do something with the home because the way that it uh, actually printed out once I weeded it you can't really tell it's a home but I'll kind of see how that works I have my transfer paper here so I'm just gonna cut out enough of that to um, fit right across here okay so I'll cut to about this line right here Okay, so then you just peel off the back to your transfer paper. And then you're going to press this down. I'm going to move this out of the way just for a quick second because I do want this on a flat surface. And I'm going to get my squeegee in just a minute, but... I'm going to lay this down flat on here. Okay. And then I'm going to get my squeegee. And flatten it all the way out.
and then we turn this over and we peel this I'm gonna peel the back off of the 651 okay and I'll do this kind of slowly to make sure that it picks up everything those little inner pieces sometimes don't want to pick up usually if you just press it back down just push it really hard it will come up as you can see there are still some pieces there that don't want to come up just press it back and slowly peel I don't know if I'm too much worried about this house for right now because like I said I don't really like the way that turned out so I may just change that design altogether I was thinking about putting a heart there uh, to begin with but I thought well maybe a little house right there would be cute but I don't like the way that looks so I might go back to putting the heart there and these little small intricate pieces like that, they're so, they can be difficult to pick up. Okay, so here we are, very sticky. Okay, let me make sure I don't have any pieces of anything. On here, I think most of that's on the other side. Let's see the home. There's a couple pieces here that are sticking up, and some of these did not get in the right spot. It's a little wrinkled, but again, I don't know if I'm going to use that section or not. Oops, okay. <laughs> I'm throwing stuff. <sighs> My frustration. Okay, so get your mat. Or your carpet or whatever you're gonna work on and then you place this down making sure you can see me and I do have um, one of these where I can put down to make sure that it is going to be straight Want to make sure this line right here is straight. Okay. And then press this down. Okay. Now the tough part really starts is you have to try to get um, the transfer tape off while leaving the Oracle 651. And I've, some people do this with, um, uh, what do you call it, freezer paper. I have not tried that method yet, but I'm, I've seen a couple people who have done it and it's worked really well for them. Um, and that could be an option for you. I have done this the first, I believe the first time I did this, I used uh, a hard stencil um, type paper. And I bought some of this. Um, adhesive uh, stencil adhesive and I just glued it to the back of the adhesive and put it on there um, that worked pretty good so there are different ways to to do this like with anything you just have to kind of find what works best for you 
all these little pieces just make sure they stick to the carpet I'm losing my voice a little bit so I apologize for that this is kind of a slow tedious process I'm gonna get my other little squeegee here And if some of this lifts up like that E right here, again, just press it down a little bit, get your squeegee, and just work it off of your transfer paper, and then press it down. I tried to use large fonts. Um, I just think it works a lot better than to try to use a really small or a, a thin um, font because remember you have to put paint down and you don't want the letters to be so small or so close together that the paint runs underneath there and I'll show you the, the paint in just a minute Okay, I'm not going to worry about that section right there. Okay, so there is the design on there, okay, and I'm not going to worry about this home, I'm going to, I think I'm going to go back and just put like a heart right there, so I'm not going to worry about doing that part, but I'll go ahead and do the rest of it, let me show you what I'm going to use, this is the Deco Art by Americana Decor, and as you can see, I got this for Hobby Lobby. I did use a coupon on it. And it's all in black. I am possibly going to do white here. Not sure yet. Um, the outside of my home is black and white. So I may do that just to kind of tie all the colors in together. Now I'm going to show you two different types of brushes. Um, most of the videos that I've seen people do, they use these little foam brushes and I tried that. I'll shake this up really well. Okay. Well, I got more on me. Can you bring that back please? Okay. So you just take a little bit of paint on your brush and just dab it inside of these spaces thank you have my little helper here okay make sure I don't get any paint anywhere else okay so this is all you do and with this one it's fine the other couple of these that I've done 
Um, the monograms were a lot bigger, and this sponge took forever. <laughs> Literally forever. So I switched over to an actual brush. And I hope you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to finish this section and then I'll show you with the brush. Okay, and do make sure that um, this one is exterior and interior paint. And this, I'm going to use this brush right here because it's smaller rather than um, using that big one. But you can use one of those large ones. But it's the same concept. You just dip it down. And then just dab your paint in the section that you're working on. Okay, you don't have to worry about trying to keep your stencil nice and pretty because you're going to throw it away afterwards. Each one of these, um, you're going to use a, a new stencil for each one. So you can use either the brush, um, the bristle brush, or the foam one. Just depending on what size stencil you're working with. The larger the stencil, the larger the brush needs to be. Okay. And like I said, I'm leaving that middle section right here. I'm not going to paint that because I'm going to put something else there. And I'm just going to do the words in black because I may do the lines above and below in white just to kind of coordinate with the house. And I have not done this on a carpet mat before, so I'm not sure um, how well this is going to work. When you do it on one of those outdoor mats, it, I would recommend putting two or three coats down of paint. The more paint, the better it looks. The darker it is, the better it looks. Okay, so as you can see, the first one, it doesn't take very long to put it down. And I would at least wait a few hours before putting down a second coat. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of fast forward through this part and you can watch me um, do the rest of it.
Okay, I've done one layer so far. And um, it turned out really good. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. And um, I'm going to go ahead to um, my second project. And then I'll come back and put another coat on here. I'll probably let this dry for about an hour and then put a second coat on this. Okay, everybody, I'm back with project number two. Number one, I'm going to show you that in just a second, but I want to go ahead and do this, and I might have to show you the completion of project number two tomorrow um, because, as you can see, the lighting in here is different. You can see my shadow. It is getting ready to storm outside, so I'm not going to compete with Mother Nature or the Lord. <laughs> and uh, so I probably will not film me finishing the rug or the doormat until tomorrow, but I want to show you the galvanized tub. Um, this is my design with welcome and I do have some white lines that are going to go on there also I didn't show this part as far as um, printing and weeding um, I do want to mention some of my fonts I get from um, Defont.com they have a lot of fonts on there and as long as this personal use is free But if you want to use it for commercial use you do have to um, pay for those, but this is going on my front porch. I'm not selling this, so I'm not going to, um, I don't need to do that for this particular design. Okay, so I've already put this on my transfer paper. This is the same transfer paper that I used earlier, so I'm hoping that this will come off. It's coming up pretty good on here, but I'm hoping once I put it down on my tub, it will come up fairly easy. Only thing I did to clean this off, I just got a, um, a towel and with some uh, Dawn and some water and just kind of clean this off really good and I let it dry. Okay, so this is going to be layered. Um, it's going to be two different colors. And like I said, this is the candlestick font, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite from off of thefont.com. And uh, I have plans to put this on my front porch with a couple of plants. So you just decide where you're going to put it. Okay. And put it there. And I will have some other designs on here as well. I'll probably put some flowers, uh, a butterfly on the end. I have not decided that, but this is just a basic part. I do have a couple of air bubbles, but we can kind of work those out. Press it down really good. Get one of your squeegees. Press this down really, really good. All over. All right, and this is kind of, this one has bevels on it, so you do need to get into those little, um, those little nooks right there. Press it down really good. Sometimes your hand does better than a, a squeegee. Okay, and it does really good. You can actually fill any air bubbles in there and just smooth it out. And then just very slowly start to peel it up. Okay. And if you lay the back, if you lay it flat and just kind of work your way out, that helps a little bit better. Um, and then that way you can see anything that needs to be pressed down again. Okay. So this is the second use out of this transfer paper. So um, when you use your transfer paper one time, you don't have to throw it away. You can, um, especially if you're have two or three projects to do at once you can save it and use it again okay really good transfer paper is not cheap I mean it's not terribly expensive but if you can get more than one use out of it why not all right so I have one little bubble right there And with my fingernail, I was able to press that out. Okay, so that came out really pretty. And then these are just two little white lines. I'll kind of just box it in a little bit. 
and one of them is longer on this side sorry I'm not in focus one of them is longer on this side so it, that one will go closer to the W okay okay so just press this down and I probably could have made my lines a little bit bigger I can always go back and do that later because I can put more over that press this down really good I have no idea where my voice why my voice is doing what it's doing right now okay I'm, I'm happy with this like I said my lines could have been just a tad bit bigger can you see that there's like a layer there I'll try to take a picture of it outside. So, I don't know. I may go back and make those a little bit bigger. But it didn't turn out very bad. Maybe instead of making those bigger, I can put, uh, again, some kind of um, scroll design up here. Um, if you've been watching any of my videos uh, and you've heard me talk, I love butterflies. So, I may put a little butterfly over there, a butterfly right there. Um, just to kind of spruce it up a little bit more. Excuse me, and I even have plans um, to maybe use the back side of this as well and maybe put our family name across here or um, monogram it some kind of way on the back with a, a B, which is my last name and um, starts my last name, and then put our name across the, across the letter. So I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that yet, but for the first time, I like it. Um, just like with anything else, you know, there are pros and cons, they're good and bad, you know, mistakes and everything that, um, are made, but, uh, I'm, I'm pleased with it for right now. Um, I'll do a little bit more to it, and, uh, I, when I show you the still picture of it, it'll probably have a little bit more stuff on there. But, I'm gonna go for it today, and then, like I said, I'll come back tomorrow, because it's getting even darker outside. It's still fairly early in the afternoon, but... It is getting ready to pour down raining, so I will see you all hopefully tomorrow. Okay, everybody, this is the second day of me doing um, the carpet mat, and I have already put two coats of the black and the white down, and I didn't do this section here. I talked yesterday about maybe doing a heart, but I decided I really want to try to do the little house because I think it will be a lot cuter so I'm gonna see how this turns out it may not turn out the way I want it to but it's going inside my house uh, right when you walk in the door so if it doesn't turn out exactly right it's okay um, but what I want to show you I'm gonna go ahead and peel um, and see how everything looks Okay, so far, so good. Not too bad. There are a couple of places that, um, as you can see, could probably um, need it. You know, I needed to make sure that my stencil was down a little bit more. But for the most part, it didn't come out too bad. I am pleased. I'm going to take this up, all of this, because I'm going to put the other stencil down there. And let's finish peeling this up. And I'll go back and get all those little tiny pieces. very nice a couple of white got in there but that's okay um what you can do picking up all these little pieces in between here so make sure you pick all of these up uh, black got up underneath there so that's kind of not good but that's okay probably needed to make these 
a little bit bigger um, my lettering in the middle right there where I would have those dividers at and remember this is carpet as opposed to using um, those mats the Kempf mats which are a little bit harder so probably this carpet it just bleeds a little bit more when you put the um when you put the paint down but it's not too too bad so let me see I'm gonna put this um uh, attempt to put this down Okay, so I'm going to peel that and get our piece of transfer paper. It's a little big. <coughs> Excuse me. Look for a pair of scissors. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this down a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to take my transfer paper. Put this down. And I don't have my squeegees with me today, so I'm just kind of pressing it down with my hand. Okay. And then just lift up. And remember, we have these little intricate pieces, so I'm a little nervous now, especially looking at some of the, the letters that um, I may be careful that this doesn't leak through too much okay so there is my design and I'm gonna put it right here okay. and I'm trying to line up the actual stencil itself, not necessarily my lines, because my lines here are actually uh, crooked a little bit. So, press this down really good. And then we're going to start to peel up very slowly. think this is going to be really cute even though there are a few little hit and misses but I think for the most part this is going to be really cute I can get that side let's try this way maybe we can get this side to stick a little bit more <coughs> Apologize for my voice. It's been coming and going not quite sure and I've been doing quite a bit of coughing today So I don't know if I'm Coming down with something Okay, so that peeled a little bit better that direction Sometimes you have to do that if it doesn't work in one direction try it in a another one Okay, so I have my house down Okay, and I don't have the paintbrush I want to use, so I'm going to come right back. I'm going to go grab that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I got my little small brush here. Um, I'm hoping that with this uh, house that I'm doing that uh, I decided to do just this little small brush for these little small uh, kind of intricate places on here. So I'm hoping that I won't have the bleed through from up underneath the, um, you know, all these little small pieces like this, but I'm not sure. 
we're gonna see what happens and I may only just do one coat um, and take it up and then kind of see what I need to do I did do that with another one um, after you put down your first coat you can take up your um, stencil and then just fix any little areas that need to be kind of touched up like up here um, there's a little bit of white there um, so I just cover that up so as you can see um, it turned out okay there's still some wet places up there at the top I don't know if you can tell there it's still kind of wet over here um, cause like I said, this is two coats and I put the second coat on today. Here's another little piece. Let me see if I can hold this where you can see me pull it off. See how it got, um, paint up underneath there. So I think, I think next time when I do this, <clears throat> um, probably these E's and the O's like that. I might open it up, make it a little bit wider, um, just like I did up here. You know, I have larger holes up here as opposed to these little small ones down there. So, like I said, this was only, um, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. I'll let this dry for about an hour or so and then peel it off and see how it looks. But it's not too bad. This was only um, a mat from the dollar store. And <clears throat> the most expensive thing is probably the um, paint that you use. Uh, I, I would not recommend if you're going to do a big mat like this, you know, with all the monogram, especially if it's going to be in one color. I don't recommend that you buy the small one of these um, because by the time you buy two or three, you might as well just um, invest in buying one large container. And they actually have some containers that are bigger than this. So if you have several of them that you're going to do, then um, you may want to just go ahead and invest in that. But the first time I did my mats, I bought like two of these just to kind of play with. And those were on the other, the core mats. Um, and I'm going to show you those. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'll show you pictures of those as well. Um, but I bought these little small ones. And like I said, I wind up having to go back and buy a couple of more because I didn't have enough to go all the way around. And I still may put a little bit more on here. I don't know. Um, not quite sure. It's just something that I'm playing around with. I don't know if I will even do another one of these carpet mats. Um, I just don't. I don't know. I like the way. I don't like the way they feel. I think the the Kempf mats that go on the outside uh, just works a lot better. Uh, it was harder for the paint to actually adhere, but you didn't have all the bleed through of the paint and everything. So I'm going to let this dry. I'll come back in a little while and let you see not just this finished product, but I'll let you see two of the other mats that I did um, maybe about a month or two ago. And I did take pictures of those. So I'll come back and I'll let you see those. 